Hi guys, this is Umair. Today I'm gonna talking about how to scrap data from websites. There are many websites that provide us APIs just like Facebook, Google, Twitter. Like if we want to fetch all the tweets that have been posted today, then we can use the Twitter API for fetching all the tweets. So there are many websites that don't have APIs and without given APIs, uh, we need to find a way that we can use to fetch the data of our websites and that technique is called web scrapping. So I'm gonna scrap this reddit.com slash top links in the reddit and I'm going to print out all the titles of these links. We can fetch the data using web scrapping technique of any kind of URL, public URL that is available to us. The, I know that um, it might provide the APIs that we can use to fetch the uh, data from this Reddit website but this is just for illustration purpose. If any website that doesn't provide the APIs we can use this technique to get the data of that website. So I'm going to use this URL and fetch all the titles of these links. So let's get started and I'm going to write a script of web scrapping using Node.js. If you already have experience in JavaScript or a bit of Node.js that will really helpful for you. But if you know JavaScript and don't have any experience in Node.js then I'll help you uh, how to proceed with it. First of all you need to have Node installed in your system. In order to get the Node you just need to go to the Node website and download the Node, the latest version of Node and install in your system. Once that is installed, uh, Node comes with npm uh, that is called Node Package Manager. So in the terminal I have navigated to the folder where I'm, I have created my uh, project in my uh, Visual Studio code. So using that npm I'm gonna write npm space in it and it's going to let me create a package.json file that will include all the information of this project. So the name of this package would be let's say web scrapping let's go version is default description uh, scrap reddit top links entry point is I want to uh, write the script name server.js instead of index.js test command no test command git repository no git repository no keywords no author for this license and yes so this package.json file has been created in this particular directory if i open it you can see that it has created this object with the name version description uh, and other important stuff so for web scrapping we need to I use few node modules that are available in npm. Uh, so what are those modules? First of all we need uh, to have a request module that is used to request the URL and return us the HTML of that website. So what do I mean by it? If I right click and inspect and here you can see that this is the bunch of HTML of that page. So request module will let me uh, use this HTML and using that HTML I can manipulate and get the data of anything that exists in this HTML. So I'm going to be using the jQuery functions uh, that will uh, really help me to fetch the data of any attribute or the inner text of any element. Okay, so let's close it and go to my project and I'm going to first create the server.js file that should be the entry point of this project so I'm going to create a new file server.js all right before writing anything inside it I need to install my request module so for installing request module I need to use npm space request and install and press enter uh, actually I need to write npm install and then request okay so it will take some time it will download this module from the internet and until it uh, doesn't download and install this request module you can see that it has started downloading and it has created node modules folder right here 
okay and if i go to my package.json file you can see that it has added that request module within the dependencies object okay so all the modules that i'll be using in this uh, video uh, will be added within this dependencies object and inside the node modules it has uh, created the folders including that request module right here and all other modules are the dependency modules of this request module uh, so that's why it has installed the dependency modules as well okay so other than the request module uh, we need to use the jquery uh, functions for manipulating that html that will be given to us using the request module so for using the jquery we have been given the cheerio module that we can use to use the jquery functions within the node script so for installing the cheerio uh, module i need to use npm space install and the spelling is c h double e r i o and press enter and it's going to add this particular module within this dependencies object again and install this module uh, within this node underscore module folder as well and along with this module it's going to install the dependency modules of this module uh, within this folder as well okay so you can see that it has been installed and this is the latest version of this module and obviously the latest version of request as well so both the modules have been installed so now let's get started and write our script within the server.js file first import and require both the modules so i will write request equals to require request var and cheerio equals to require and let's write the name of that module it doesn't necessary to write the variables name same as these uh, module names but just for simplicity i've just written the same name of that module as the variable names so now after that let's first run this script and see if there is no error uh, and check if these modules have been required successfully so i will use node server.js and that has been executed it means that there is no error so our uh, modules have been required successfully so after that uh, i need to use this request module to actually uh, use this url and give me the html of this page okay so first of all let me add the url right here and copy this url and paste it within the double quotes actually so this is it and after that let's use the request module and enter the url and it it takes a function and the first parameter is the error second is the response and the third one is the HTML that we're gonna be using okay so we have been given this HTML so now in order to manipulate this HTML we need to use this Cheerio module okay so first of all uh, let me check if there is no error so if there is no error let's use that module uh, to apply the jquery functions on this html so i will use cheerio dot load html okay so i need to store this uh, this functionality within a variable so rather than uh, using a new variable name i will just use a dollar sign and using the dollar sign we can uh, use the jquery functions okay so now let's analyze that html that how we can manipulate uh, that html and get the title of all these links okay we don't want to uh, fetch the data of the whole html or the comments or this text share save hide report uh, instead we just want to fetch this uh, title okay i hope that you already know jquery uh, because that will really help you in, in understanding what i'm gonna write here so you can see that uh, we have actually let's right click on the any of these titles and inspect okay so it has navigated us to a specific anchor element 
uh, that contains that particular link okay this is the text and uh, so first of all uh, we have this site table as an id of this div and within this div we have all the links all the divs within this parent div and these are the children divs of this parent div and within each div we have a paragraph element span div anchor and this is the let's count 0 1 2 3 4 so this is the fourth children of this one div okay and within this div we have a div and then paragraph element and then the anchor element and within this anchor uh, element we have this text that is the text okay the word shithole is being projected onto trump's uh, tc holder tonight okay so this is the title and this is the second title uh, that would be definitely within this second div right here so we need to use the jquery to uh, navigate to this particular anchor element and get the inner text of this anchor element okay so i know that uh, and i hope that you already know jquery but uh, i'll try to explain that jquery that i'm gonna write so first of all uh, let me get all the children of this parent div this is the divs had that that has an id of site table and i'm going to get all the children of this div so to get all the children of this div i will write all items equals to using the dollar sign and hash and the name of that id was site table and get all the children okay so now this variable contains all the children of uh, that particular div so now i need to iterate through all these children okay so in order to iterating through all these children so let's all items dot each and function and inside it i can this is the fourth children and within the fourth children i can navigate to the paragraph element that has a class title okay so let's navigate and inside it i can write let's first uh, create a variable like items and this is an array okay so items dot push and dollar hash site table and children dot equal so let me get the index of each item that has been iterated so index that will return me the index number of each item from this array okay so i will use index here so now uh, until here we have each div each inner div of this external div okay so now we are uh, here uh, inside this particular div so now i need to navigate to the children the fourth children of this div and then the title that is the parent element okay so now i need to go to the children and i need to navigate to the fourth children that is being starting from zero zero one two three and then four and then i can find a that has a class title okay and after that i have navigated to the anchor element now i can get the text of that particular anchor element so get text all right so now uh, we have all the items and that has been pushed as well within this items array and this items array only contains the text of those links okay so now let's write console.log items and let's see if that result is printed or not so i will use node uh, space server.js and it's going to actually it has given me an error Re so there is a spelling mistake 
actually there is a spelling mistake make sure you don't do a spelling mistake so let's run that command again it's going to take some time it needs to load up so you can see it has loaded all the title of those so this has been loaded and this has been loaded why it is uh, pushing an empty uh, empty string after each title of that links so you can see that uh, these are all the children of this parent div so the problem is that uh, the HTML has some empty divs you can see that this is the first div and after that this is the second div and this is empty it doesn't contain anything and this is the third div and this is the fourth div okay so this is not a tutorial to teach you the jquery uh, but this is just a web scrapping tutorial so i'm just uh, going to ignore these divs by adding an if statement in my script but you can uh, write a more efficient jquery to skip uh, all the divs that doesn't contain anything okay so let's just put it in a variable and I'm going to write the name of that variable result and I'm going to use if result is equals to actually it's not equals to empty string then I'm going to push the result within that items array okay so let's remove this line and I'm going to uncomment this now let's print the items and see if it prints the empty array or not empty text actually so you can see that it didn't print uh, that party that thing that empty string that was earlier being printed so our array is fine so this is how you can fetch the data of an uh, of and a link of a website uh, you can get the data of anything from any kind of page uh, but that should be within that html that is given using that request module okay uh, it it contains everything it has these small text as well it might takes have some images it might have videos it might have so many things so you can get everything that you want to get from a link from any kind of website that has a public URL okay so now data has been fetched now uh, once the data has been fetched you might be curious that how I can export that particular data to an Excel file to a CSV file or to a simple TXT file okay so for that we need to use another node module and that is called an FS module so right here I'm going to use npm install FS FS module provide us a write read and synchronous and asynchronous functions that we can use uh, to read the data from the file and write the data into the file okay so let's check package.json so this has been created and it must be added within the node underscore modules folder okay so let's go to the server and I'm going to use var and fs equals to require fs okay so this module have been required and after executing and iterating through all the div elements uh, of that HTML I can use that fs dot and I can use a function write file and in here I can simply uh, write the name of that file that has to be if it already exists then it, it will not create if it doesn't exist then it will create a new file okay so let's write output dot and txt and after that let's write json dot stringify and I will write the items as an array and this is the second and this is the fourth uh, parameter and after that it needs an a callback function okay so 
here I can check if there is an error I can log the error and if there is no error I can simply log data has been added to a file okay so let's run node space server.js file so data has been added to a file and it has created that particular file if i click on it uh, you can see that it has added that data in the form of an array okay so we have an array that has the data okay we can have a data in the form of json we can have a data in the form of an objects so uh, we need to manipulate the data before adding it within that particular file so uh, for manipulating the data we need to use a logic we can uh, add that data in the form of the csv so we can add a comma separated or semicolon separated value and use the backslash n for navigating to the a new row and that can be also be exported in the excel file so it's up to you how you want to manipulate that data and show that and print that data within that output file okay if you don't want that txt file you can just simply write csv it will be added in the form of csv file and that file will be having a format of csv and we can change any format right here and that will be created and there are a bunch of functions that are provided by fs module that we can use uh, and all the functions have some an synchronous and asynchronous function uh, that we can use uh, along with it so that was a pretty pretty basic introduction of web scrapping i wanted to create a big um, application uh, and that in the future that i'm gonna create uh, this tutorial was for the people who want to get the idea how to get started using the web scrapping I have been working and doing web scrapping for the whole websites, navigating to other links within a website using uh, paginations uh, that have, that exist within the pages of the links and navigating to open different links, um, downloading images, downloading videos and uploading those uh, media files in another website. So this is all the part of that web scrapping. Okay. So this is just a basic information. I just want your response uh, that and I would like you to comment below uh, of this video and like this video as well. Subscribe if you haven't yet and thanks for watching. See you in the next video and probably the series of web scrapping for the more advanced topics of web scrapping.